Hi and welcome back to Leslie Crafts. Um, I'm going to show you doll number six um, today but before I start I forgot to show you that I you've got little bows for doll number five so I just put them into the, her hair and then um, she's finished so just want to quickly show you that before we moved on to doll number six. Okay so here's doll number six again she's about four and a half inches tall by two about two and a bit inches wide because her hands are quite thin so we're going to do this one today but we're going to do obviously with different scraps so yeah so that's the one we're making today so again I've cut out um, one of everything apart from her hair and I've cut two out so and you will need on this one a little bit of scrap card um, for just a underside of the dress so the hearts show a different colour underneath so first of all we're going to glue this on making sure that you don't get too near the heart because obviously you don't want mega seepage out so just lightly when it's over and this is just a scrap card from another project which has like a muted yellow background so I'm going to leave that on there and I'm going to let that dry for a couple of minutes before I do anything else so we can colour it in her face like so and her hands one's left and one's right if you go the wrong way around you can just um, colour the back in it's no big deal okay so you can put them to one side and while the other thing's drying we'll just glue her face onto the onto her hair so I hope you've been enjoying the series I have so hopefully by now I would have received some more of my dyes so and then I was thinking on some of these I'm sure we can mix and match match them and come up with different different ideas so I'm working on that one as well so that's her face done just like so and then we'll just get these and I'm just going to see if I can find a pair of scissors I didn't check before I started with this so if you just bear with me I'm just going to go and grab a pair of scissors there we go so and all you need I do apologise about the light, the sun keeps on coming in and out So, and I have got lights on in here so I'm really sorry if all of a sudden it's gone really really dark hopefully you can still see what I am doing so you just want to carefully cut this out just like so around the dress trying to be as neat as possible when you're doing it just like so I mean that just gives it a little bit of a highlight oh there you go so yeah, i think the light helped me move it off a little bit so you can see the little yellow heart at the back okay so i'm going to put that scrap back up there so i've done a pink underline for this one so i'm carefully going to put it on the bottom of the dress like i have done with the rest of them and I'm going to carefully line this up 
so it goes on really neatly just like so and then I'm going to pop her legs on and I'm going to use the black and white stripe side rather than the pink so again just whoops just making sure that you know you you get them as straight as possible really and then before it dries too quick you want to make sure that you've got them the right way around I don't think I have so obviously I've got boots to put on these so it can't be too far apart because obviously the way the boots are made Ooh. so that's her so far I do again I do apologize about the lighting but if I can guarantee as soon as I open the curtains um, the sun will come out and will blind everybody so with the boots you just want to make sure that the legs are a little bit wider so and with the glue it will work so <coughs> you just want to put glue on the very top just above the heart and then you want to glue it down just like so and any seepage you can just mop up with your finger and just rub it away so you got the starting of your girl like that the next thing you want to do is you want to get her hands and you want to make sure that her like little thumb bits are pointing downwards I think that's how yeah so they so it looks like that Ooh, really bad angle looks like that so what I do is I put a little bit of glue on each of her arms so I can turn it over and I can play around with it so I do it to the first little mark which I didn't you know it's worked for me so far so and again I think the little groove is where you put the little men because this one's holding the, like paper paper chain so do that and then just squash them down there we go so that's what it looks like so far there we go and then you just get a little paper chain doll and I do just literally get a dab of glue on the heads of one of the guys on either end and then I just play around with it so it looks like she's holding it um, Oops, a daisy. This one doesn't want to stick. There we go. So that's her paper dolls actually showing. And the next thing is to do, but obviously, her neck and on this one, her hair does go down in front of everything. So um, I will be gluing her hair down as well as her neck. So literally all you do is a little dab of glue on her neck and then a little bit of glue just on the bottom bit of her hair really. And then you want to make sure that the, the neck's underneath and the hair is on dress and then you just want to push it down just like so. And again you can leave it like that if you wish but I quite like the hair looking like a little bit of 3D and because I've started using some of these I can I'm gonna cut this up and then I'm gonna use this 
So I've got so I've got like a I've got a few bigger bits of the foam and it's a good way to make sure that you use up all your foam you know foam so the hair just looks like that and you just pull that back and then you just line it up and again you can cut off her long long bits if you wish to because obviously nobody's going to be seeing the back because it will be stuck down to your project but there you go so that's my six gold skill made a mess but with the one oops so totally different styles and like I keep on saying these are great for scraps so you know um, you can make them any way you want to as well okay thanks for watching if you like what I do please subscribe and um, I will see you very I'll see you again hopefully with some models okay bye now